All right, so Brandon, what qualifies you to speak on this particular topic? What qualifies you to say that a small freight broker makes more money than a small trucking company? Well, it's very simple because I've owned both of those types of companies. I had a trucking company and now we have a freight brokering company. And that's what gives us some insight on what the difference is when it comes down to who makes more or less money. And of course, I'm not talking about every single freight broker every single trucker because some truckers are going to make more money than some freight brokers. But what I'm talking about is when we look at the overall business model and we see the potential of each business, the freight broker business has the potential to make more money than the trucking business. And the primary reason why a freight broker business usually makes more money than a trucking business is because of how those businesses are structured. With a freight broker business, I get the opportunity to go out and use the efforts of a host of other people in order for me to make money. Whereas in a owner operator trucking business, usually the business owner is using all of his own efforts to make money. And when you compare the two, if I have a host of people and you're only having just yourself to make money, then I'm very likely going to make a lot more money than you are. That's just how the cookie crumbles. All right, so now I think it's very important to choose what it is that you wanna do in life. But we also have to look at it and understand that it's not just about what we wanna do, it's also about what we can make a decent living in. And when we really look at it, people sometimes choose what they wanna do, but they don't take into consideration how much money what they've chosen to do makes. And then when they realize, oh man, this doesn't make the kind of money that I expected, then they start scrambling and thinking about, hey, maybe I need to make some changes. In today's video, I wanna tell you today why is it that freight brokers make more money than truckers? There's a very simple reason for that, and I'm gonna share it with you now. So come on inside, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Now let's get down into the business. So before we go any further, let's make sure that we're on the same sheet of music and we understand what it is that I'm comparing here. I'm comparing a small trucking company with about three years in business, owner operator, as compared to a small freight brokering company work from home with the same amount of time in business. Now, yes, we know that both of those business models are excellent business models. You can make a lot of money in trucking as well as you can in freight brokering. But something stands out about the freight broker industry to me when I compare it to the trucking. That is, I'm gonna have much less overhead as a freight broker as compared to a trucking company. For the sake of time, we're gonna make a very simple example here. Let's say that a trucking company earns in total income $200,000 for the calendar year. Now, let's take a look at the operating expenses, the total overhead. Let's just assume that it's about $100,000 for the year. Now, when we look at the total income minus the operating expenses, that leaves us left over with $100,000 for the trucking business owner. Now, let's look at that example and compare it to a freight broker. Let's say a freight broker earned $200,000 in a calendar year. When we look at the operating expenses, we're gonna assume that the operating expenses are about $20,000 in the calendar year. So when we look at that and say 200,000 minus 20,000, that's gonna leave us with 180,000 as compared to 100,000 that the owner operator has. And it's because of the overhead amount. Now, at the end of the day, when it really boils down to it, I know people always talk about how much money you make. And that's good, that's great to make a big number. But what really counts is how much you keep. So how much you make is just half of the story. You can make a million dollars. If you pay out $900,000 in expenses, then you keep 100,000. So you are a six figure business. Yes, that person can say, hey, I operate a million dollar business because they're earning a million dollars in revenue. But the real question is, what do you keep out of the million dollars? At least that's how the way I see it. Now you might think that overhead is one of the biggest factors when it comes down to how much money a business makes, and it is, but the biggest factor I believe is how the business makes its money. Now let's take a look at a freight brokerage as compared to a trucking company. A trucking company, small trucking company with one truck, when he gets up in the morning and he moves a load, then he's moving one load with the one truck that he has. After he drops that load, then he can go and get another load. But in a period of one day, let's just say he moves two loads. 
That's all that he can do. Now let's take a look at the freight broker business. I think it was Rockefeller that said, I would rather use 1% of 100 people's effort than to use 100% of my own effort. Now let's make sure we know who we're talking about. We're talking about one of the richest men this world has ever known. And he's saying that he would rather use 1% of 100 people's effort than all of his own effort. So what gives you the opportunity to use the effort of someone else? You got it, the freight broker business. With the freight broker business, you see, I don't own any trucks. I don't have any assets. I'm a non-asset freight broker. So I use the trucks of people who own those trucks. They pay the notes on those trucks. They pay the cost to operate on those trucks and I get to use it without having to pay those costs. But the biggest advantage is I don't have to depend just on my own efforts. You see with a freight broker, the freight broker is building a team, a team of carriers, because he knows it's kind of like the drug game. As long as I have drugs, I have money. Well, in the trucking business, as long as I have freight, I have money. As long as I have freight, I have access to trucks. So the name of the game is to get freight. Freight is the gold in this business. As a freight broker, if I have freight and I have control of that freight, then I have trucks that I can control. So when we really get a deep understanding of how a business works, how cash flow works, what we find out is that it's not necessarily about ownership. You see, everybody wants to go out and own a truck. They want to buy a truck. They want to buy something to go into business. Not me. I would rather have controllership than ownership because what controllership allows for me to do is to make more money because it does not come with the liability. And for those of you who would say, Brandon, a business is not just about making money for me. I'm more so focused on doing something that I'm passionate about, doing something that I enjoy doing. And if that is the case, go for it. I don't know about you, but I know for me, a business is about making money. And if I'm in a business that's not making the kind of money that I want to make, then I'm looking for a new business. It's that simple to me. It's about making money. And that's the reason why I got out of the trucking business and into the freight broker business. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I certainly hope this information has been helpful. If you want to learn more about the freight broker business, I'll leave a free link in the description. It's my five video series titled how the load movement process works. It will give you a look into the freight broker business. That way you can see how it works before you decide to come into it. And just in case you want to know more about the load board, how freight brokers actually use a load board to post their loads, to search for trucks and to use that rate sourcing tool to get a rate that they can take back to the shipper. I'll leave a free tutorial here. So until the next time, I wish you the very best in your life and business. See you at the top because the bottom is much too crowded.